G'day guys, welcome back. Uh, welcome to pouring your heart out. I am going to try something new today and I don't know if it's going to work. I don't think, I don't think that's upside down, doesn't matter. Um, I'm going to try a black sandwich pour. So if you've seen my white sandwich pours with white paint um, and then a little bit of colour between, so bread filling bread with the white bread. This is going to be more of a rye bread because I've got a big cup there of black paint. So black bread or rye bread fillings and another piece of rye bread and that's going to be our black sandwich pour. So yeah, I don't know if it's going to work, but I've picked light colours that will pop up through the black. No point doing dark colours because when you do a white sandwich pour, you have dark colours and then with the black, I'm assuming light. So I'm using the Montmartre. Uh, acrylic so we've got purple pink green and orange the black is the artist loft I'm yet to test my new batch of black of the Montmartre to see if it's going to work or not uh, because last time it didn't work so I've got all these weird weird formations and things I forgot my cups all right so um, now the colors are going to have some treadmill silicone in them spot on uh, with the black I've got 150 grams of pouring medium and 150 grams of paint pouring medium is my usual 60% glue all 40% water and um, I mix it up in a big jug like that old I think it's an old float roll bottle actually um, yeah and then um, I can use it out of that. The colours have got 30 grams of pouring medium, same pouring medium, and 30 grams of paint. So one ounce of each. So what we need to do is I need to put this cup, I need to pour half of the cup for the first layer. Mm, a bit more. And then half for the second layer. Make sure I've got enough to go around. This is a, a 25 by 30 centimeter canvas, 10 by 12 inch. Oh, kind of looks like, maybe not. You want half in the bottom there and then half the other half goes on top. So let's put the treadmill silicone in. Uh, let's do four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Actually, I think five dropped in. Let's do five then. Because that's the only oil that we're going to have in these colours. We don't put oil in the black. I've tried to get colours that aren't going to go too icky together. Like I didn't want to put turquoise and orange together because, you know, they go brown. But I think pink and green are usually quite nice together. Pink and purple are nice together. Orange and green are nice together. Just don't know about orange and purple, but they won't be touching each other in the cup, but they will be kind of blending together on the canvas. So I'm not quite sure how, I can't remember. What do orange and purple do? Are they icky? I don't know. Anyway, let's try. Here we go. I'm gonna put some orange on. So this bit of orange needs to go half in there, half in there. So for this size canvas, I usually use about 500 grams of paint. So I've got 300 grams in the black. And then six balls are 24. So I've got 240 grams of color. So close enough. Right, that's that one done. And now the green. So my consistency, the black I've kept just a teensy bit thinner than the colors because I want the colors colored cells to pop up through the black hopefully I haven't made the black too thin the artist loft paint is a little bit thinner than the Montmartre paint so when I do a sandwich pour with the Montmartre I don't have equal amounts well I, or I might have equal amounts and then I add water to thin the sandwich color out okay pink so hopefully it'll work 
I don't know, but we'll find out together. I've been meaning to do one for so long, and I know you guys have been itching to see what happens, but just didn't have the chance. I've got so many ideas flying around in my head of things that I want to do. It's just not enough hours in the day. And then I think, oh, but there's a resin thing I want to do. Oh, but then, yeah, there's a, there's like a um, pearl pour that I want to do. Oh, and then I'm back to the resin. I want to do the feathering or the pea tree. And then I'm back to, oh, let's do a flip cup. And oh, there's so many things that I want to do. Anyway, I'll get there eventually, I guess. I've tried to make all the colours the same consistency. The purple was much thicker in the tub than the others. I had to add a splash of water to the purple. Probably drying up a bit and getting old. Okay, so that's my colours. Oh, I haven't got my cloths. I forgot my cloths. All right, now here we go. Let's do the black gently over the top. You don't want it to run straight through, so just try and pour it onto the top. The second piece of bread, does that look like a yummy sandwich? Delicious sandwich. Mm, not quite sure how I want to flip these. I don't think I want to flip and drag. I might do a bit of a flip and lip, I don't know. We'll see what happens. It's a bit tricky when you've got two cups. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Flip one. Actually, I'll have to... Mm, no, if I'm going to do a flip and lip, I'll just have to do one and then flip the other one. So that one might come sort of through here and then that one might go through there. With your, with your cup, just don't end in the middle because you know how you get those weird bits from the, the top of the cup that kind of fall out on top? So always make sure that your end of your cup's on an edge that you can flip it over and get rid of it. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous. Oh, wows, wowzers. Okay, what am I gonna do with this one? Let it sit there for a minute. Look at the purple cells. It's got a lot more black in it for some reason. Don't know why. Let's put some of that on the corner there. And you can have some on the corner there. Oh, there's a lot of colour coming through there. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's dark, isn't it? It's much darker on this side. Um. I think what I'll do is I'll just, and there's a lot of paint here, I'll just cover the whole canvas first and then I'll torch um, and get the cells up and then we can tilt again to stretch the cells, hey? It's probably the easiest way, as long as you've got enough paint to do that. Let me just chuck this. I wish I had my cloths. All right. Here we go. Um, I need to get that corner off there. Let's go over there first. Plenty of paint. Let's just let's just do it. Hope I haven't got too much paint on there. I left too much on. All right. Oh, gosh, I need a I need a cloth. Let me get a baby wipe. Oh, there we go. Let me get a baby wipe out. All right, now I'm going to torch. I probably didn't need all that paint, you know. <laughs> it's probably a bit much. But look, it's my first sandwich ball. All right, let's torch. Let's see what we get. This purple's taking over. Look at it. See, if, you, if your paint's too thick, your cells won't want to come through. So these have to be mindful of that when you're mixing your colours. I'm going to try and get some of this off. Let's go with lots of cells, shall we? <laughs> let's just, let's go 
go for lots of cells. Alrighty. Okay. Now, this bit of purple down here, I think that's a bit much. So I'm just going to try and stretch the cells and take some of that purple off. So we'll just walk back and forth, back and forth. I'll try and keep that little bit of black on the corner there with the, the purple if I can. Okay, there we go. That's all. That's all I wanted to do. I'm going to have to come back a little bit. It's quite fluorescent, that green with the orange there. It's, it's quite fluorescent looking. Oh my gosh. Oh dear, oh dear. Where's my cloth gone? if I can I think I had way too much paint you guys I just want some cells just there where the um, paint rolled off the edge okay well, maybe just a few over here in that line there Whoa, it's very reactive. Very reactive. I just got paint all over mine. A clean can. Right, there we go. Uh, sandwich pour with black. What do you think? <gasps> yeah, I think I probably got a little bit too much paint on there. It's only a little canvas. I'll do that so that you're not looking at too much mess. Oops. Get out from under there. But it worked. So yay. Now I'm just going to go around the bottom, pick up the paint from the bottom, put it on the corners if you've missed any on the corners. I might have overcompensated with the made the um, colours a little bit on the thin side. Oh, these cells here, these are amazing, these purple ones. See, because they're all light colours, they're pretty much all, um, they're all opaque, like they've all been lightened with white, so they're all opaque, and the black's opaque, everything's opaque. So we get kind of a different look. Although the orange might not be, because I'm getting rings, getting rings around the black, so the orange may be semi- transparent because um, we're getting rings around the um, the black. I'm going to bring you down for a close-up because um, it looks really pretty. Squeak, squeak. And here I was worried that um, the orange was going to take over but the purple's kind of taken over a little bit. Have a look at these cells. Look at those. They're really funny looking cells. This is what happens when you don't have your um, um, opaque and semi-opaque and opaque and semi-opaque. Everything's just opaque. So you do get like a different look. But as far as the experiment goes with black sandwich pour, there's those orange around the black I was telling you about. As long as, as far as the black sandwich pour goes, yes, it does work. It sure does work. Might have had my paints a little bit on the thin side. That's all. Everything spread really easily and the cells were quite big. So, yeah. Wouldn't mind trying it again with some other colours. What do you think? Shall we try another sandwich pour? Other colours? I love those those ones there. I love those. It's like my metallic pearl pour that I do. That's so pretty. My little cartoon world. All right, I'll leave it there. Hope you've enjoyed that black sandwich pour with my rye bread and my fillings. <laughs> and um, I'll see you real soon for the next video. That was a quick one, wasn't it? Quick video. All right, see you soon. Bye for now.